Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been like a hot minute since I've been in the game, but I'm back and I'm ready to go. So the reason I didn't film a May favorites and that I didn't um, film any videos in May is, for those of you who don't know, um, I recently got a job. Um, so I've been working for about two months now um, for Clarence at Macy's. It's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. And the reason I didn't film anything is because I was trying out so many new products from so many different brands that I want to, oh, excuse me. Oh, mom's a little tired. Um, is I wanted to try out a bunch of new products and really figured out what I loved and what I didn't like um, before I actually filmed the video. So I'm not including any Clarins face products in this video because I'm going to actually be doing a separate skincare video um, within the next couple weeks so I don't want to be biased and just do like this entire video just about Clarence I don't want to do that because I did try out a bunch of other new products that I totally love this month and last month so without any further ado let's get into it. so first I'm going to talk about what literally everyone in the mamas is talking about but it's so worth the hype the Natasha Denona Sunset House so I think I'm just going to say it, and I think this is actually my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. After having it for about a month, and it was a pretty petty, but it was totally worth it in my opinion, because anyone who knows me knows how much I love warm colors, and you can tell it's um, it's been used a lot. But um, this is like my dream palette come to life, and I just love it so much. Everything about this, every single color in here I love, and I've used... Um, because, you know, I love oranges, I love the the browns, the warm tones, that's like everything to me. And it's just so amazing. And everyone I tell this palette to about, they're always just like, oh my god, that was $130. And I do understand that's a lot of money. These are high-end eyeshadows, but I do think that these are the best eyeshadows I've ever used. I'm um, next to Makeup Geek. I really think that they are that fantastic and they're totally worth it to me. And I love it so much, and I just never want to be without it. I just, I use it maybe twice a week now. Before when I got it, I used it, used it like every day, but because I have other palettes, you know, I don't want them just to be sitting here, but I love this so much. Highly recommend if you want to make the dive to spend a good amount of money on this, um, I would totally recommend it just because I do think it's so good. A quick little side note, I usually wear makeup in these videos, but I'm not today because it is my day off from work and because I do work sometimes six seven days in a row I usually work five days a week and when I'm at work I always wear a full face of makeup full glam so it's really important to me that on my days off I not wear any makeup so if you're looking at me right now and, you, or, and you're like oh my god she looks real scary I'm just like okay continuing on with the eyeshadow trend this is the natural love palette by Too Faced and when it first came out I actually really wanted this palette, but I convinced myself not to get it just because I already have like a billion eyeshadow palettes. Um, but after working at Macy's, Macy's does have an impulse section, which has Too Faced. And I was swatching the palette. And after doing some swatches one night, I was like, okay, this palette's actually really pretty. And these are, there are a lot of colors here that I didn't own. And I think how... It has like a bunch of different transition shades and um, just a few matte shades, but the perfect amount of them, just enough that you can create so many looks with all the satin finishes and the metallic shadows that are in this palette. I really, really like it. I've been using it um, for more like natural glam looks, not so much like bold, like intense super glam looks, but I've been really, really loving it. And I think that Too Faced fell off the boat for a while with some of their eyeshadows, but this reminds me of um, the quality of the Chocolate Bar palette in terms of the blendability. This is back on the game. I really like this. Go Too Faced. Also, I did not spend 60 bucks on this. I actually used a shit ton of Ulta points, and I got this for like half price, so key there. Okay, we're done with eyeshadows for now. Um, really quickly, I am going to throw in what? Clarence product, but it's not a face product. So this is the um, the contour treatment oil by Clarence. So this is this is okay. So how do I explain this to people? When I when I am at work and I'm talking to people and they have questions about our body oils, this is a contour body oil. So what is it gonna do? It helps 
Um, so when you massage it into your legs, it's mostly used for your thighs and your legs, um, wherever you feel like you're retaining water and you massage it in and it really helps y your skin and where you're, you're holding the excess water in your body and it helps drain it loose. So the old, I always do this. I do this every night after I shower while my skin is still damp. And you really feel the difference. Like when you, your legs feel heavy after a long day or like after a flight and like you, your ankles are swollen, they hurt, you're retaining water and you feel heavy, this is going to help drain out all the excess, um, all the excess fluid that's building up. And I also use it sometimes on my arms and it really just helps make your, your, your body just drain everything naturally and you feel so much lighter. You don't feel as heavy. You don't feel as gross. Um, this is a big bottle that I got for gratis. Um, the, this is double the usual size of the bottle, um, but I highly recommend it. This is the contour one, the anti-water one. Um, there's also a tonic that's good for stretch marks, a, a tonic body oil, and then there's also a relaxing body oil. Next, I'm just going to talk about the, the Too Faced Hangover, the new hangover spray. This is what it looks like. So um, when I first heard this was coming out, I was actually really excited just because... Um, I have like a weird obsession with setting sprays. I don't know. I always use like at least two or three when I do my makeup. I tell that to people and they think I'm crazy. Um, but I really wanted to try this just because it's oil free, silicone free, and it has coconut water and it has probiotics in it. And anything with like probiotics in it for like your face, your body, like for inside your body, I love kombucha. I'm totally on board with. So when I saw this, I was really excited to try this. And first of all, this was like $32, which for a setting spray is pretty standard. But then I saw how much product is in here and I was like, wow, there's actually a good amount of product in here compared to like the, um, what, what was I looking at? Like for the Fix Plus, this is only 3.4, but this is four ounces. Most setting sprays are about four ounces, like the, the Urban Decay All Nighters, four ounces. Um, but there's a lot of setting sprays that are not four ounces. So I was like, okay, this is a good amount of product for a price. Um, the only thing I say, it kind of smells like baby powder, like a little bit. And like a, like, um, like in a way that it doesn't, like they purposely tried to make it without it having a fragrance. And then it ended up having like a baby powder fragrance. It's not bad. I don't mind it. It doesn't smell gross. It's just not what I expected. I thought it was going to smell like coconut water or like a, like coconut, but um, I really like how this makes my skin feel. My skin has been acting so, so, so weird lately. Some days my skin feels really, really dry. Other days my skin is like dripping with oil, um, and the Clarence products I've been using have been really helping, but some days it still just happens, um, mostly when I have my makeup on. Sometimes when I, I'm at work, my makeup will just break down. It, even when I use my same routine, my same foundations I use every day, but um. I really hope that this helps it not feel like it's cracking and dry um, no matter what I do, no matter how much moisturizer I put on before. So I, I've been really liking this. I recommend it. So this is a pair of lashes I've been wearing a lot lately. I know this is a shocker just because I usually wear like the same like two pairs of lashes like every day. Either my Coco lashes, Queen Bees, or my, um, my Cake Face Beauty lashes in either Millionaire or Lionheart. I always just wear those, but lately I've been really on board with these. These are also Cake Face Beauty in the style sass. Um, I tried going on the website and they weren't listed anymore, so I don't know if they're like discontinued or out of stock. I don't know what it was, um, but I really, really like these. They're a little more natural, but they're still dramatic because they have the length to them, um, and I feel like they're like the perfect everyday lashes, like when, like along with the Queen Bees that I have, because. They're just like the hint of glam that you love, but it has the length to make you be like, okay, I'm a queen right now. I got on my falsies. Let's conquer the day kind of thing. And I really, really like these. And these are much more inexpensive than the, the millionaire lashes. I know those are like $15, but these I think are only six. Um, they're, it's part of like their bite size collection, I think. But anyways, I really, really like these and I recommend them. And this is the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. I never, have, I have never used um, Benefit concealer before, um, but when I ordered this on the Ulta website when it first came out, um, it actually gave me this for free. So I've been trying it, and I really, really like it. It's definitely not full coverage. Um, it does not cover my dark circles completely. 
Um, so in your mind, you're probably like, bitch, why are you even using that? Like, you know, I got the dark circles, you know, I like full coverage concealers, but for me, this is perfect on the days where, um, I'm not wearing makeup. So when I don't wear makeup, um, I just use a little bit of tinted sunscreen, the Clarence tinted sunscreen, and I'll put a little bit of this on under my eyes and I'll spot conceal and it's perfect. That's what I do every day. It's what I'm doing now. Um, I think it looks really, really nice. You don't have to set it. I do set it with like a little itty bitty powder a little bit of the RCMA powder but this is really nice because it's soft it's kind of produces like a blurred effect it's perfect for spot concealing because it doesn't look like gloopy or thick on your face so I've been really really liking this um this was like a sample size but it's still like pretty big I don't think I'd ever probably finish this for a while if I ever did I'm definitely gonna repurchase the bigger full size but um the fact that I got this free and it's a good size I've been really really liking it this is in the shade number one Okay, just a couple more items. So this is the Kiehl's Creme de Corps Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. So the thing is with Kiehl's is, oh, I love this product. So um, because I work at Macy's, the Macy's I work at has a Kiehl's section, and I've always been interested in trying Kiehl's. Um, Kathleen Tykes Lights talks about the Midnight Recovery Eye Cream all the time on her channel. And, um, I've always wanted to try that. So, like, sometimes during work, I'll just browse over, just go over to the Kiel section, just look. And I saw one of her videos recently where she was talking about the Ultra, uh, facial moisturizer. You know what? I'm just going to put these two together. They're both from Kiel's. The Ultra Face Moisturizer as a primer. So that was kind of the sole reason that I went over to Kiel's that day to buy some stuff. And I bought this and I've been using it under my makeup and I really like it along with the, uh, the facial cream. Um, it's just because my skin has been feeling a little bit dehydrated lately. These using these as a primer has been really, really awesome. Um, it just hydrates your skin nicely. It doesn't sink on top. It really just soaks in and it makes your, your foundation go on really nicely. But, um, the reason I got this is I'm looking for a new body cream. The one I have now, which is, um, I have a couple. I just finished the Josie Marin one, the Whipped Body Argan Oils. And I really, really like those. But the problem is I they never fully soaked into my body. Is They were very hydrating. I have the lavender one. It smells amazing. But because it never fully soaked in, even when I would, because I always put lotion on after I shower at night. So when I would go to bed, I would wake up in the morning and I still felt it was just like my skin was dripping with oil. And it was like I felt hydrated, which I loved, but at the same time, it just never really soaked in, um, which was kind of a problem for me. Um, but it smelled amazing. And it's expensive for how much product you got. Um, but anyways, and then my coworker recommended this um, for both me as a, as a lover of body creams and body lotions and... Um, for my boyfriend, Richard, who has eczema, she recommended this. She said it's going to be really awesome. She knows a lot of people who have eczema, who have skin conditions, and this has really helped their skin. So I got the big old tub. I really, really love this. I'm going to continue to repurchase this. Oh, and I just love the smell. So this is the, the soy milk and honey one, but I also love the traditional creme de corps. I got a couple um, travel size one, and I have them in different purses because I really like it. I like the way it absorbs into my skin when I'm on the go, and I just like to put on some hand cream on my arms. Feels great. That one's not scented, though. It's completely unscented. Um, so if you're sensitive to smells, that one probably works better for you. But if you have a skin condition, I think this one would work better for you as well because it's just so hydrating and absorbs so nicely. And then the last product I'm going to talk about, this is the J1 Jelly Pack. Um... For those of you who've been asking about how I prime for my makeup, lately I've been um, using two primers. I kind of do it that way. I've been doing a, a moisturizer primer, so like either the Kiehl's one um, or the Bobbi Brown one or the Glossier one, a priming moisturizer. And then I kind of let that soak into the skin for a couple minutes and then I go in with this. Um, this is a, it says it's a dramatic firming skin with improved elasticity and pore smoothing. So I do think it firms the skin. So I definitely don't think it's pore smoothing, but it just makes a nice sticky base to have the foundation stick to. And it really does make your makeup last all day. So it looks like that's it for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, the next video I want to do in the next couple weeks will be my skincare routine. And um, after that, I'm definitely going to do a, uh, a full face routine just because... 
many of my co-workers have been asking <coughs> Andrea. Um, so I'm just going to be doing that in the next couple weeks. Um, let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching. It was nice to be back. Um, so yeah, leave any comments down below um, if you like any of these products these uh, uh, for these past couple months. Um, or like at all, if these are any of your holy grails, all that good stuff, blah, 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 anything you recommend. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. But I don't think it smooths out, it smooths out your pores. Hello, sir. I'm filming. But these are high end, these are high end, high, I speak.